Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. Welcome to part number four of the Under the Knife Satin Black Paint Protection Film Transformation Series that we're doing on my Ford F-150. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna go about doing the tailgate and the rear bumper and the driver's side box. Um, there's a lot that's gonna go into this video. It's gonna be a long one. And um, yeah, I guess we're gonna start here on the tailgate. I'm just gonna be upfront and honest. We're gonna be doing the uh, satin black PPF on the tailgate over here. But this area over, over here where the, where the uh, handle is for the tailgate, this will all be done in a satin black vinyl um, by my friend Tony, who's gonna come and do it. Only reason why is because with all these sharp curves and everything, there's lots of relief cuts with the paint protection film that need to be there due to the thickness of paint protection film for it to work properly. But with vinyl, you can get away without the relief cuts. So that's why we're gonna be going with vinyl over here, but we'll be doing the satin black paint protection film everywhere else. So let's get into the video. Okay, so we got our sheet of bulk satin black PPF on top of the tailgate. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take the True Spray keg that I have. I'm gonna get a bunch of slip solution underneath the film. There we go. Okay, that's good. Now the film is gliding nicely everywhere. That's what we want. So the reason I'm doing this on a table, reason I'm doing this on a table instead of with it on the truck is because with the 50,000 kilometers that I've driven on this truck, there's a lot of gravel and dirt and dust buildup that's gotten in behind like the Ford emblem and the, um, the handle over here. So I've done my best to clean that out, but I know that if I do it flat, I don't have to worry about any of that stuff getting behind the paint protection film, which is why I opted to take it off the truck. So now to get started, I'm just gonna start here in the middle. First things first, I wanna try and get this get as much of the film kind of laid down where it needs to go. So, that's good. We've got these uh, indented F-150 badge right over here, I guess you could call it. This will look really good once it's done. So. Um, we're going to start working our way over from this side over to that side. So what I'm going to do now is just plan, think of my plan of attack. Um, first thing I'm going to do is actually cut out a good chunk of the paint protection film around here. So I'm not cutting a lot or I'm not cutting all of it off. just the majority of it. I'll have to come back and uh, do more with that later. But right now, I think I'm gonna start, uh, we're gonna start kind of right here and work our way back. So, got my tack solution right over here. Uh, where's it gonna, I'll just have it right there. So. You'll notice that I'm also using a smaller squeegee as well too. This is just gonna help with getting into these grooves a whole lot better. Plus it's got this nice rounded corner on it, which is gonna work really well when I squeegee down over here. Very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get tack solution in. Right here. Work that down. Flipping that squeegee around so I can get, make sure that there's no air pockets left behind. Right there. That's good. get 
everything down right around the, the Ford badge. And what I'm gonna do is just get, it's the first time I've ever done this with colored PPF. I've done it with matte and uh, it's a lot easier to do because you can see a lot more. Um, but with the, uh, with the matte PPF, it's very, it's a lot easier to see it, um, kind of see what's all being left behind as opposed to a different color paint protection film, such as the satin black. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, doing the, um, doing the, uh, after doing the passenger side of the truck, it's um, definitely not something, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be, to be honest with you. Um, just because I knew it was going to be hard because you want to make sure that every bit of uh, all of your edges are completely wrapped and it is <laughs> I thought I was good at wrapping edges but this is turning out to be a whole lot harder than than I had anticipated I'm just using my finger here to run right in this groove to make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. So that looks good. Now, I'm getting the majority of the solution out just with, just with my hand before I come in and squeegee it out. Lots of going back over your, lots of going back over your work when you're doing, when you're doing an install like this. This is uh, tedious work to say the least. I hope if you guys are deciding to do one of these installations for a customer, I hope you're hope you're charging accordingly. Your time is definitely definitely valuable, and uh, you definitely don't want to make you definitely want to make sure that you're not. Giving, him, giving your work away. I mean, unless it's your own personal vehicle, it's a different story. So now what I'm doing here is I'm just getting the film to lay down flat in this valley right here. There. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take a uh, just gonna take a microfiber towel. So I'm just looking over here just to make sure that I'm not leaving any moisture behind. And I did notice some over here. So you can see it's right here. I'm just gonna squeegee that down out the back or at the bottom of the tailgate, I should say. And do have a little bit. That's 
that's looking good. Now we can continue moving on. So you can see the PPF has started to kind of stick itself into place here. I'm just gonna lift this up. And what I'm gonna do is take my knife and cut a large chunk of this off. And then we're just gonna start pulling everything back towards me. So I wanna run back and forth in this valley multiple times. More and more pressure each time I do it, just to make sure nothing is being left behind. Okay, now we have this part right here, which, which is gonna be, gonna be fun. So I'm gonna have my squeegee angled, so all the solution's gonna be pushed into this valley. Now, what I'm gonna do is just take my finger, I'm gonna run my finger through there, make sure I can get all the film into place. Just spraying some tox solution in there. And that's gonna do a good job of holding everything into place. That's gonna be good for that for now. We'll come back to that. We're gonna to have to do some relief cuts. Now what I'm gonna do is just take my knife. I'm gonna take and kinda of cut a U out of here. And there we go. I'm just gonna use my thumb to get that down. Just around that edge just a little bit. We'll worry about wrapping that later. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, there we go. That's good for now. Now we can take, and I'm just gonna lift this up. You can see how the film is kinda curving itself a little bit there. I'm just gonna lift it up, put some tension on it. There we go. water tax solution that is a that is a lifesaver when you're doing a PPF install there we go now I can start to push everything out over here
Now I'm gonna come in and I'm actually gonna come around and just gonna lift the film up. It's gonna be hard for you guys to see. I'm just gonna trim even more of this material off here. Do my best to not touch the paint. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift the film up. I'm gonna have some tension on there. go that's good now we're just gonna take and I'm gonna take and trim very lightly try and cut that in half that there like so now what I can do is I can come in here with this squeegee and I can get the PPF squeegee down into place inside that valley inside that groove So probably wondering what I'm gonna do with the actual Ford badge over here. We're gonna leave this for last. Um, and then I guess after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come and get all of our edges down and wrapped. But now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna lift up the PPF and we're gonna do the other side. But I think things are starting to really take shape quite nicely here. Grab the uh, true true spray. And lift this up carefully. I want to make sure I don't lift up too far. That's good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is basically do the exact same thing we did on that side. We'll do that here as well too. So I'm gonna do my best to get the valleys to lay down as flat as possible. If you have a wedding ring on, take it off. You just slide around. I should have done that before. So right now I'm just pushing all the air out. Okay, now start right along this ridge. And I'm gonna start by getting as much of this moisture out from the zero over here as I possibly can just with my fingers. Then I'm gonna come in with the squeegee, 
really do my best to squeegee everything out. Good. Once you've been installing paint protection film long enough and you get into your groove, you can really, you can really hammer through installs nice and fast. But make sure if you're going fast, you're not sacrificing quality. Well, okay, now we're gonna worry about this right here. Okay, now I'm just gonna get a bunch of hot water tack solution in there. Just gonna do my best to massage this down just with my hand. I'm gonna shut the furnace off. You guys don't need to listen to the furnace. Tack solution behind the film. Cutting off some of the excess material here. Getting the hot water tack solution on the film. Okay, that's good. We're gonna go back and forth a couple times in that valley to make sure that we're not leaving any solution behind. We are leaving some. This area is causing me a bit of grief. Tax solution on the film so we can lock this down. Okay, that's good. Now, this area right here, just lifting this up, getting more tack underneath there, and then. Take and 
squeegee everything down and kind of push the film into that valley. Okay, that's good right there. Now, what we are gonna have to do is trim off all that excess, but I'm gonna snap my blade off first. Now I'm going to take and press this down into place. This is where having a small squeegee definitely helps when you're taking and wrapping the film around into this valley or this groove over here I should say. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have to do a couple more trims, but everything's everything's down across this valley. So now, before I do my final trims, I think what I'm gonna do is make sure these edges are down 100%. So I'm gonna refill my hot water tack solution because when it comes to doing this, I wanna make sure that the tack is as hot as can be. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is cut off the majority of the bulk film. And then we'll start the process of wrapping our edges. I've always known the importance of wrapping edges, just I never quite understood just how important it was to do until you do a color change wrap. So you'll see that that was not a very even cut and that's fine. We'll come back and trim it afterwards. But right now I'm taking my hot water tack solution. I'm flushing this valley out just with my thumb. And then I'm just wrapping it around. I got some pretty good pressure on my hand with my thumb to wrap it around there. We'll come over here. This is the first time you're watching any of our videos. I do not use any alcohol in my tax solution anymore. I used to, but I switched over to doing just hot water. And I have found that hot water does the exact same thing as the alcohol water tack ratio, except the alcohol or the water, you don't run the risk of burning the adhesive of the film if you accidentally mix it too strong. Um, I personally have done that and then all of a sudden you end up ruining the adhesive. The adhesive starts to turn a milky white and at that point your panel is garbage. 
we'll come back to this later. We're just gonna keep working our way around the uh, tailgate. So you're probably wondering what I'm gonna do with this corner right here. So the corner, I'm just gonna take and pull it. It's nice and hot now with the uh, tack solution. And the good thing with this Defense Plus satin black PPF is it doesn't really leave adhesive lines, so I can take and pull it. I can hook it around that corner. That's gonna stay there until I trim it. And we can keep going. I'll come back and trim this later, but we'll keep moving along. Okay, so I'm just gonna lift this corner up here. Get my tack solution underneath the film. And then I'm gonna hook the film around that corner. Just gonna hold that there. And I'll come in with my squeegee. And I'll squeegee that down. Now we can keep moving along over here. We're gonna take and get Flush the slip solution out behind the film here. Okay, now just my thumb, just with my thumb I should say, I'm just gonna roll that edge around that corner. around the corner nicely. There we go. Now we're going to come over here. We'll trim that off. Sorry. Now that's going to be good for now. I'll come back later and I'll heat that up with the heat gun. Now if you want to come around over here, I'm going to take and trim this top edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take and run my knife blade kind of right across the edge of this texture plastic here. I'm just gonna lay that flat. If I have to come back and do another cut later, that's gonna be fine. For now, I just wanna get rid of the excess material. go now what I can do is take my squeegee I can run my squeegee along that valley probably hard for you to see and that's good if you want to come around over here, and all I'm going to do now is do my best to trim right along where I think that valley is going to be. There we go. Nice. 
lots of tedious trimming on our on a color change wrap. Okay, now we're gonna continue to go all the way around. Sometimes when you don't trim hard enough, then you end up having to redo it. And that's never fun. There we go. Now, you take and trim up over here. Good thing about doing color PPF is even if the solution dries out a little bit, it's okay if it's okay because it's just going to help you be able to get stuff into place. That's what we want. It's good. Now I'm just going to get a little bit more tack solution in here. Need my microfiber towel. Soak up as much of this as possible. Now, okay. Now let's switch spots. I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other side. I'm just gonna trim along that black plastic along the top of the tailgate. Now, spray my tack solution behind the film. And I'm gonna get my squeegee in here. And I'm gonna squeegee that all down. Okay, that is absolutely perfect. Now, as promised, we're gonna take and trim out the Ford emblem in the middle. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of feel for where that ring is. I'm just gonna make a smaller cut. Just very 
gently. Knife. If I have to do another cut, that's fine. It's better to have to cut multiple times and cut too much the first time around. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and spray my tax solution behind the, behind the film. So my biggest mistake that I made is I should not have, or I should have ordered a second true spray keg system so I don't have to be using a spray bottle for my tax solution. So put some kind of like tank warmer on there so we can always keep the water nice and hot. That's what I would do if I had to do this again. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way around this rim and just start getting the film laid down. Okay, now we're gonna have to make an extra cut. So, I'm gonna make a cut right about here. Just very lightly with my knife, coming right along here. Still so see I'm having my squeegee at an angle to make sure that I'm getting film down and I'm not leaving any fingers behind. Okay, now, this will hopefully be the very last trim that I do. I'm gonna put my knife right in that gap. And I'm gonna follow that gap all the way around the tailgate. So I have my knife cutting all the way through, just because the PPF is propped up a little bit. right in that groove. And there we go. That should be good. Now it's ready for post heating. All right, so we are gonna get going on installing the rear bumper. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do the passenger side, and then I'm gonna put you on a time lapse when I do the driver side. Now the reason we have the tape over here is because there's 50,000 kilometers on this truck and there's a bunch of dust and debris that's gotten between the uh, tailgate and this black plastic piece up here. And no matter how much you wash it out and you blow it out with an air compressor, you just, you don't get everything out. So I'm gonna have the tape here just to keep anything from falling behind the film. Once the film is uh, completely dried out, I'm gonna pull the tape off and then I'm just gonna wrap the PPF inside here dry. Um, and that way we can get nice, we can get nice complete coverage without running the risk of any contamination getting behind the film. So. First thing I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna spray my slip solution on the film. I'm 
just gonna pull that there. Got a bit of slip solution on top of the film as well too. Now we have a relief cut right here. We don't want to we don't want to run the risk of damaging that. So right now, first thing I'm gonna do is do our best to line up where this sensor cutout is. There we go. Now I'm just gonna take and get that down just with my thumb around there. That should be good. Actually, I'm gonna use a little bit of tack solution there. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm just very carefully spraying the nozzle downward so we're not running the risk of getting any uh, slip solution behind or on the tape. We want to try and avoid as much of that as possible. We do have to do a slight stretch to get the film into place here. So just gonna use tack solution. Stretch that there. I'm gonna hold it down. Oh, that's popping up. Perfect. Just got lots of trimming that we're gonna have to do on this rear bumper. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna take and squeegee everything down in the middle here. GPF is wanting to crease itself right here. Okay, that's gonna be good for now. It's not wanting to stick right here because it's got the tape that's in the way, and that's fine. Now is gonna come probably the hardest part about installing this rear bumper is stretching the PPF around into place around this corner. So I'm just gonna to to peel the film back. I don't want to do this more than once. So what I'm going to do is spray my tack solution on the paint. I'm going to get some on the back of the film as well too. And we're going to do one big stretch. I'm just going to hold that down. Behind. I got my got two fingers just holding the film down behind here and I'm gonna take and come from over here that's good now I just got to take and pull this down more tax, getting more tax solution behind the film and just making sure I'm hooking this around that corner to the best that I possibly can.
now I'm gonna take and squeegee that down on that inside edge. Now, I am gonna come back later on once this is all completely dried out and I'm gonna take and remove the tape and then finish off this top edge over here. But for now, that is going to have to be good. I've got the most important parts of this bumper down. Now this is where things get tedious because we do have a relief cut right here where there is going to be some exposed blue paint but thankfully it's going to be at the very bottom of the rear bumper where no one no one should be looking. Squeegeeing this down side to side in a sawing motion so I can make sure that this is all down. Sorry to the person holding the camera. There we go. I got a bunch of excess material over there that I'm gonna have to trim off anyways. So we're just gonna leave that to dry out. Um, I'm gonna come back and do my post heating on this in about an hour or so. And then, um, yeah, I'll show you guys. Um, I'll, I'll do a time lapse of me removing the tape and doing all the trimming and post heating. Uh, but for now, let's get on to the uh, driver's side.
Okay, so we've been going for over 50 minutes in this video already. So what we're gonna do is end this video here and stay tuned for the next video. In the next video, we're gonna be going over how to install PPF on the full hood and the driver's side box. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let us know in the comments what you think of this satin black paint protection film series.